Hi, boys and girls. We are going to be starting a new unit in reading today. And we are going to be exploring text features. I know that some of you know about text features, or most of you do, um, because some of you have been doing text features with Mrs. Wyatt. But we will be exploring quite a lot in this unit. And um, we are going to be reading nonfiction expository books. And that is where you explain and you tell more about a topic. So ex um, nonfiction expository are books where a topic is chosen and it is explained and it tells you more. So when I ask you, what, what is nonfiction expository? You'll be able to say, Mrs. Tillman, nonfiction expository books are books where the topic is, is chosen and it is explained or just tells you more about it. Okay, I know that's a whole long spill, <laughs> but here's the book that we will be reading today. It's called Snails. See right there. And I want you to pay attention to the text features that are in this book. You know, text features help you with your comprehension. What that means is it helps you to understand your books better. So when you see captions and when you see big words or you see pictures, those are called text features or bolded words or the glossary or the index, which I will point out in a minute. Okay, so this book is called Snails and it's written by Monica Hughes. But I want to show you Monica's name really quick because the first, if you could miss it in this book, see right there, Monica Hughes. They put her name really inconspicuous. I wonder who knows the meaning of that word there. All right, so let me point out the table of contents. The table of contents right here. There we go. As you know, let me kind of pull it back a little bit. Um, Table of contents is where the topics are listed and the page numbers tell you where you can find them. In some table of contents, these are called ch chapter titles, like as in the case of this book. So these are chapter titles. The chapter titles are snails, kinds of snails, snail bodies. And look at it closely. I'm just reading out the table of contents, but can you tell me where I can find new snails? Hmm. New snails is on page 16. Right there. New snails is on page 16. So we have again snail trails, looking for snails, new snail, new snails, food for snails, snails in danger snails in winter. Then you have the glossary and the index. A glossary usually, and also an index, is usually at the back of a book. And the glossary tells you the meaning of some of the words, words that may be in a different color or if it's bolded. And the index are the topics and where you can find the pages in the books as well. All right, let's see. Snails. Snails are small animals that live outside. Let's see the snail shell and the body, the shell and the body. They have soft, slimy bodies and hard shells. Kinds of snails. Here's another chapter title. There are many different kinds of snails. Some snails live on land. Other snails live in water. Land snails, water snails. Snails body, snail bodies. A snail's body is called a foot. Interesting, isn't it? There is a label that's a text feature. A snail can pull its foot into its shell. What's its foot again? Its body, that's right. Snail tentacles. Snails have four tentacles on their heads. 
two tentacles taste and smell, and two tentacles have eyes. Here are their eyes, the eye tentacles, and the tasting and smelling tentacles. You seen that? Yes. I love these bright pictures um, and these um, and these uh, bolded words as well. Snail trails. Snail move very slowly. They slide along on trails of slimy mucus. There you go. If I go and open the book so you can see it. Ooh, that's the mucus. Mucus. I wonder why that word is bolded. Usually, authors do that. They put bolded words or different color words and they put it in the glossary in the back. The glossary is like a dictionary. All right. Looking for snails. Snails live in gardens. You might find some in a flower pot. You might find snails in some leaves. New snails hatch from round white eggs. New snails. There are the eggs. Baby snails are very small. They have soft shells and bodies. Food for snails is our next chapter title. Snails eat the leaves and flowers of dead plants. Ooh. They eat growing plants too. Snails can be garden pests. They can eat your, your good plants as well. Snails in danger. Snails, these snails are in danger. They have pulled their bodies inside their shells. They know when, it's, when someone is trying to eat them and another animal is. Foam. Snails can make foam to, uh, too. Foam keeps snails safe from predators. And we've talked about predators in um, another book as well. It reminded me of polar lands. And you notice it's also bolded. Here's another label, foam. All those are text features. Snails in winter. Snails hibernate all winter. Wow, reminds me of something else. What does it remind you of? They go inside their shells and close them with mucus. Let me show you what that looks like. They go inside their shells and they close them like with mucus. Hmm. They hibernate all week. This is, as you know, they are bolded. These woods are bolded. And those words are usually what the author thinks that you might need an explanation for or a dictionary to help you know what those words mean. Here's the glossary. See all the bolded words that we saw in the text are in the glossary to tell you what the meaning of the words are. And here's the index. The index are all these. If you're looking for um eggs you can find them on page 16 if you're looking about for if you want to find out about the tentacles of the um of the snails page 10 pages 10 and 11. so that's what an index is and that's what a glossary is okay and uh, so i want we will be continuing this uh, topic about reading non-fiction expository text and i want you to think about uh, your text features as you read your books today and complete your activity in Seesaw.